Okay, so I just thought of something here and I wanted to do you guys another quick video on what it means to be fully present and how to be fully present. This is something I'm working on for myself. I am very aware that I'm going through an awakening process of trying to figure this out for myself on how to become fully aware. And I'm gonna post some links below the video so you can see what I'm talking about and give you more examples. But let me give you a couple examples of what it means to not be fully present. So you can kind of just think about it and see for yourself what, I, what it would mean for you to be fully present. So when we are like, let me give you an example. When we're talking to someone in a conversation, but our, our mind and our thoughts are everywhere but that conversation. And then you come back to that person and you're like, what, what what'd you say? <laughs> that's not being fully present. Okay, that's not giving your full attention to the person that's in front of you and the task at hand. Okay, let me give you another example. Let's say you're reading a book. This is another favorite one of mine. You read a paragraph or two and then you realize after you just read those two paragraphs that you don't even remember a word you read because your mind has been wandering on other thoughts. That's not being fully present. So that's another example of what it means to not be fully present. So then you'll sit down and reread the chapter and try really hard to focus on it and maybe skim something out of it, but you're just not there. You're just not fully present. Another good example would be, let's say you're in class, you're a student, you're in class, you're listening to a lecture or maybe uh, a presentation and halfway through it, the teacher asks you a question. Hey, Corey, um, what was that about? Or can you answer this question about what we just learned? And you're just like, uh, total blank, right? So that's another example of not being fully present. What it means is just not being in the right here and right now and being able to fully focus your mind and your attention on what's in front of you. Your mind is always wandering, you're scatterbrained. You can't put your thoughts together, you don't know why. It's very confusing for most people. Um, it, it does, it frustrates most people why they can't just be present-minded. So for me, I am on a pathway right now of enlightenment to figure out how to be fully present at all times in my life. And it's not always possible because I am finding myself being not present minded quite a bit, but it is getting better. There's one thing I have learned that is dramatically helping me to be more fully present in my life. And that one thing would be getting slow wave sleep, okay? And I've done another video on the benefits of slow wave sleep. And I really, really believe that is super, super key. Now there's a lot of other things people think they might have ADHD or mental issues or focus problems. But I think what it boils down to for most of us, you know, you just don't get proper rest. You don't get past REM sleep, the dreamy state, and go into the deep sleep where your mind gets rest and repair and rebuilds um, your, even your body and everything where you're just fully there, out of it. You don't remember the night. You don't move around a lot in your sleep. Now if you toss and turn a lot in your sleep, that means you're not getting slow wave sleep. You're just not getting there. I am one of those people that I just toss and turn. Now no, last night I had another great night of rest. I got into full deep wave sleep. I woke up this morning. I don't remember anything about last night. I don't remember my dreams. I don't even remember really like where I slept. I don't remember going to bed in that position. I woke up in a weird position that I don't usually sleep in on a different bed. And I'm like, where am I? So that just tells me it was such a good night's rest. And I woke up refreshed. I feel great. And uh, my mind is working so much better. I am just totally like in the moment, fully present. I can focus on what I need to focus on. And especially with people, you know, 
when you are dealing with people, you want to be there for them. You want to be able to have them feel like you are listening to them because you are and because you can remember things that they're saying. So this is just my thought, but if you can focus on being fully present and getting a good night's rest, figuring out what works for you to get into the deep wave sleep, get past REM sleep, you'll feel so much better, you'll think clearer, your memory will be better. Oh my gosh, your memory will work just like it's a 100% improvement. So I'm going to put the link to this book below the video that I've been listening to. And um, I want you to check it out. A friend of mine um, also is listening to it with me and we're just both impressed. It's called Sleep Smarter and it'll just give you a ton of tips and practical advice on what you can do to get better sleep. Things you didn't even think of um, just from like not even looking at your cell phone or any screens like an hour before bed, reading before bedtime, eating the right foods, not eating things. Caffeine is huge. Like cut it off by noon or mid afternoon so you can get a good night's rest. Maybe you need a medication. I've tried different things. I've tried the melatonin. I've tried the Benadryl. I've tried a couple other things. Um, and all of them still just actually seem to dramatize my sleep even worse, my REM sleep. But there's one thing I've been taking and every time I've taken it, um, I go into s slow wave sleep, deep sleep. And it's, um, it's a, a benzo. And I, I don't know, I've never experienced it. I've used them for anxiety before, but I've never really just taken them right before bed. So now I am taking a benzo right before bed and it just makes me feel so calm and relaxed and peaceful and then I'm out and then I don't even remember my dreams or anything. It's great. So it's working for me, but I'm not saying that's the magic bullet for me or for anyone else. I don't know. I don't know what it is for you, but I would encourage you to find out what it is that you can do to start getting slow wave sleep and see if it doesn't fix your memory problems and your problem of just being fully present in the moment so you can focus on whatever it is you want to focus on you know if you're not living in the moment you're not living life whatever it is you're doing I don't care what it is you're doing if you're not in the moment you're not living right it doesn't feel good it's confusing it causes anxiety frustration depression and really it just it makes me upset I don't like it I don't like to be like that I like to be like this I like to be here right now in the moment doing what I love and enjoying what I what I'm doing and when you're not fully present you can never enjoy the moment because you're not in the moment all right if you like my video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel rapidtronics and just leave me some feedback in the comments on what you think I'm gonna put a couple links below the video where you can get more resources on slow wave sleep what it means to be fully present some exercises you can do on how to be fully present and uh, this book that will help you learn how to sleep better and sleep smarter. Okay, thanks again for watching. Peace. Have a great day, my friends.